We're going to do a review today. Are you going to comment down below? Click. Okay. What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel, Dora and the Lost City of Gold. That's the movie we're talking about today. I need your comments down below. Did you enjoy it? Were you, were you looking forward to it? Let's get into it. So, Dora, a teenage explorer, leads her friends on an adventure to save her parents and solve the mystery behind a lost city of gold. I'm gonna be flat honest with you guys. You know, everybody has that movie that you're going into rolling your eyes, not expecting anything because of how horrible the trailers were. And for me, these were some of the worst trailers of the year. They did not get me excited. They did not change my tune. Frankly, they were embarrassing. And I know some may look at those trailers and be like, well, Austin, it's cute. It's Dora. Why is Dora a teenager? I know her as a young girl. Well, I like the concept. That's not what I'm bashing here. It's more the marketing and what you're doing with this movie. See, I think this could have been so much better if they would have focused on what really worked about the movie. And that's right. It's not a complete bust because I did find some things in here enjoyable, especially the performance by Isabella Monaire. I believe is how you say her last name. It may be Monet or Moner. Mon Moner. But she is, as I expected her to be, from Instant Family, Sicario 2. She's fantastic. She is awesome as this character. She does everything she needs to do to portray this enthusiastic young girl who turns into an older girl but still has the same mindset as she has 10 years prior. You know the younger Dora, and they do kind of explore a that at the beginning of this movie, and that was cute, you know? Shows the adventure aspect of the show, and it harkens back to what you know and grew up with, and I, I won't lie, I watched Dora a bit growing up, and then I watched it more when my brother was super young, and I was still at that age. If it was on TV, I'm gonna sit down and be like, ah, what's she exploring today? Her and the swipers and the map and the boots. But, you know, I, I found that really interesting as a kid. Everyone did that grew up with that show. So you take all of those fans and you try to transfer something onto the big screen, live action, because that's what the studios are doing nowadays, and you have a good idea to start with. First off, like I said, a great actress at the helm, and she really does carry this entire premise, the concept, everything on her back because she is so good, and she kept me entertained throughout the movie. Even when I was sitting back going, why are you doing this right now? Why is the story going in this direction? I still enjoyed her presence, therefore I was never bored. But not being bored and then being completely confused by why they chose to go this direction with the plot, two different things, right? I enjoyed this concept more so than I did the execution, especially at the beginning of the movie, like the first 25 minutes after she grows up, she goes into the real world and it shows Dora exploring high school and what it means to be a normal kid in a normal atmosphere. And that aspect, I'm like, yeah, this is really working because it's kind of this fish out of water situation. She is in her own environment and it's really fun because she is hilarious being so awkward and kind of weird. And I hate to say it, but she was consistently embarrassing herself. And that was funny. And it worked from a script perspective, right? That's what we want to see out of this movie. But then after about 10 minutes of that and a montage through all of the things that I wanted to see out of this movie, look, I, I could have used an entire movie of Dora in high school, even though some of the side characters weren't the best and the one-liners were very very cheesy, that was funny, that was entertaining, that's what I enjoyed watching. And then you go on the adventure, and she goes out into the jungle, and she takes her friends with her, and that's when the movie really started to fall flat for me. Listen, I'm taking nothing away from the audience, the intended audience of this film, the kids who are absolutely going to love it, and that's really who this movie is made for. I take nothing away from that, and people who grew up with Dora may find some enjoyment out of this because they do harken back to that original show so many times. There's even one scene that involves animation, and I, I thought it was really cool. That's when I kind of checked back into the movie, and I go, yeah, this works because that aspect of the film, the final 45, 50 minutes, it's very cartoonish in nature, extremely over the top, 
full of the poop jokes and things in that nature that, that just don't appeal to me, frankly. And once again, if you can get on board for what it's going for and not pay attention to the predictability and the conventional aspect of the characters and how annoying certain side characters are, then I think you may find some things in the third act and really the second half to the second act and really the second half of the movie as a whole to like. Another thing that really bothered me here was the dialogue, not necessarily by Dora because she's doing what you expect Dora to do. It's the people around her and what they're going through as teenagers. It tries to turn into a coming of age story and that never ever works. Those notes never hit. And also the editing of the film. If you're looking at this from a filmmaking perspective, it's very, very messy. It's not good in the least bit because the filmmaking is sloppy, the cinematography is bland, the special effects for Boots and, and Swiper, not that I expected them to be great, but I kind of expected them to at least be moderately believable. I know it's based off of a cartoon and they're trying to at least harken back to that, but it's too unbelievable for me to sit there and buy and soak in as someone who's trying to get enjoyment out of this movie. I really did. And then, like I said, the filmmaking as a whole, the editing is so choppy. There's one scene where they're going through this tunnel of water and there are so many cuts within like a five second span of time. I'm sitting back going, I, I know this shouldn't matter because it's a kid's movie, but wow, this is messy. And just the weird edits as a whole, there's a dance scene at the beginning, and this is what was actually working about the story for me, but they cut to a girl's face and she goes, Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. She's going to have to transfer schools. And I felt like, one, the editing was bad, and I felt like we continued to get those one-liners all the way until the end of the movie. Looking at the plot, it's predictable, like I said, and it's just uninteresting once she leaves high school. I was all in because of Dora. Slightly Diego, he was okay. The parents were good when they were on screen. Michael Pena, he is hilarious as always, doesn't get the most screen time. The other side characters, the guide, everyone, they're just, they're kind of there. They don't make a big difference for me. And everything they do, it seems like it's exactly what you expect them to do, and they never pushed it a bit further. Not that I wanted Dora to get injured, or I wanted a dark interpretation of Dora the Explorer. You can be humorous, you can be over the top and cartoonish if you give us a compelling story and compelling side characters. Dora was the only one that compelled me. She was the only thing that kept me going. And at the end of the day, this movie was definitely better than I thought it was going to be. I suspected that this was going to be one of the worst of the last few months, and it wasn't. And I can understand why people are enjoying it. And I can understand why kids are going to get a lot out of this movie. And for that audience, if you are one of those people, I say go and check out Dora the Explorer. It's just not a movie that was built for me necessarily. And because of all of those things, I'm still going a little over half. I'm going 52% for Dora the Explorer. Definitely better than I thought it was going to be, but still, it's a movie that just, you know, it's there, it exists. I'm glad they didn't botch it completely, and uh, Dora is awesome in this movie. The character, not the movie itself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought of Dora Explores the Things, and later on today, more reviews. A lot of things dropped this morning. I, I don't know where I'm at, honestly. I I'm recording like seven reviews this weekend. This could be the seventh. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you very soon.